What's good guys, it's TSG. In today's video, we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna be reacting to a video by Jimbo Reno making a tier list of all of the Alluvium influences. This isn't gonna be a serious video. I'm just gonna watch it, react, just joke about, don't take anything to heart, but let's get straight into it. Before we start the video, if anyone isn't following Jimbo Reno, go subscribe to him. The link is down below. He is incredibly hilarious, funny as hell. The quality of his videos are amazing. And he's only got 186 subscribers, which blows me away. Like watch his videos definitely go check his channel out and show him some love so this is the video that we're going to be watching let's just jump straight into it today i made a tier list and we are going to rank some of the alluvium content creators influencers and other people in the web3 space let's get into it all right so first we got the man animositas or annie nose i personally like to call him anime nose yo this guy is just a walking meme fan this guy is a walking meme anime nose yo i love let's let's peep out the people that he's got here he's got annie Artemis, Andrew, Alluvium, Jagonite, <laughs> Jimbo himself. What? Kieran, Kira TV, Najeef, and there's a couple behind him, but we'll, we'll see that when we see that, I guess. Mr. Anime Nose would go in A if he did only Alluvium content, but I'm gonna have to put him in B because he does a lot of other Web3 games, and I'm just really not interested in other Web3 games, to be completely honest. <laughs> just not interested. Oh my God, no, but Annie does cover quite a lot. Um, I do wish... Actually, you know, it, it is his strength that he covers a lot. I think he needs to make shorter content. And I've had this conversation with him as well. His content is super, super uh, in depth. If you could clip that out and make that shorter, I think that would go a long, long way. Next up, we have Artie. And I really, really like her content a lot, especially her long form content helps me with my walk. So I don't just have to sit there and walk with nothing going on. Got her Scoriax or TSG, whoever it is she has on or she's on with their podcast. Even her shorter form content, I know she made a comment about people saying her voice sounded like a robot. I think she needs to lean in for the short, only for the short term uh, content with that because I like her voice for that. It feels comfortable when she's explaining stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put, ah oh man, I would put her in A, but um, she's not uploaded as much recently. If it, there was like consistent content flowing out, I would 100% put her in A. I actually like Artie a lot. Mr. Ex I agree. I actually agree. I think Artemis, I would actually put Artemis over Annie just because it's more creative. Uh, I would also go A tier, but obviously she doesn't put out as much content. So uh, a top of B tier is what I would put, but solid. Executive producer at Alluvium. We have Andrew Wall. I think that's what he says when they open the stream. Anyways, it doesn't matter. He opens up by saying it's Andrew Wall, host and executive producer at Alluvium. That is his, his, his catchphrase. That's the tag that he starts off with. Andrew um, is a legend in the game. I have so much respect for him and I completely like fanboy when he like talks to me and stuff. I'm not going to lie. And I don't really know why I because we're like in completely different um like genres of content, like before he was in Alluvium, but I, I just really respect how good he is at what he does. I'm gonna have to put him in S. Yeah, I mean, dude, is there anywhere else? <laughs> is there anywhere else to put Andrew? He's just next level. Like he's such a pro at this shit. It's, it's, it's incredible. He has made the Alluvium showcase so much fun to watch. It runs smooth every single time. I do need to say something I've noticed with Andrew and I don't know if it's intentional or not, I feel like when he first started, it was very, very professional. It was very kind of direct. Whereas I feel like he's leaning more into his own personality now and, and making it slightly more casual, which I love. Like we've seen him cuss a couple of times. My new catchphrase is, I don't give a f Just him throwing memes and jokes and you see him smiling and laughing and just, I don't know if it's just him feeling more comfortable. I doubt it because he's been doing it for a long time. So I don't think comfort's the issue. I just think he's leaning more into his personality, which I absolutely love. Love him. Andrew. DM me, please. I love you. The ILV logo, I'm just going to use to represent the Alluvium YouTube channel as a whole, because ironically, I think they have some of the best content. Mostly has to do with Andrew, but there's some stuff on there that doesn't have to do with Andrew that's very, very entertaining. So I'll go ahead and put them in A. It's pretty much all to do with Andrew. <laughs> I mean, he does most of the, um, the voiceovers. He's obviously executive producer. He produces most of it. Uh, and then one of the other guys that's on the team that actually works is Andy. Andy is, is amazing at the editing and, and all the, the graphics and things like that. This next guy also goes by many different names. Some people call him Jagonite. Some people call him Sam the Wise or Sarah Angel. I <laughs> oh my God. So this guy shit talks the project consistently. He's been banned multiple times and he's consistently coming back with alt accounts. 
and everyone knows it's him and he keeps getting bad. It's just, it's the funniest, it's the funniest narrative. My man is consistently coming back with new alt accounts and it's just, it's just stupid. I call him friend. He's one of the best alluvium bulls. Very logical, always in token, has some good vibes to say in there, no matter which account he's on. I'm gonna have to put in uh, please stop making content or please stop making comments in general. But yeah, um, I really do love Jagonite. He Yo, please stop making comments. Oh my God. He's uh, or Sam the Wise or, or Sarah Angel, whatever his name is. Next up, we have my absolute favorite content creator. He's just one of the most mature, open. <laughs> my man legitimately just such the best qualities in a romantic partner. Oh my fucking God, man. Yo, I swear, follow Jimbo if you want good content. This guy is a walking fucking meme. Like, it's incredible. Honest, with integrity, respectful, independent. Yo, his mouse is physically moving <laughs> as he's saying these things. And people uh, call him, like, greatness, amazing, the face of Alluvium. I think this guy just hits it out of the park. I've never seen a piece of bad content by him. If you've ever watched a video by him, you 100% should like, comment, and subscribe. This guy is great. I would put him above Andrew, but I just have so much respect for Andrew. He's a he's an OG in the game, you know? Uh, Jim Barino is more of a, a YG, a young, young gangster, so. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. I actually, I physically can't deal with this shit, man. I'll put him in S slight, just slightly below Andrew. I would say it's neck and neck. I would also say it's neck and neck. The fact that Andrew's been doing this shit for 10 years plus, and Jimbo has 186 subscribers, I would say very much so that it is neck and neck. Now we have uh, Kieran Warwick. He doesn't really make YouTube videos. He shows up in some other people's streams and streams on Twitch occasionally. I've actually heard some people call him the face of Alluvium, which I think is like kind of disrespectful to Jim Brino because Jim Brino has done so much more for the space. He's a bigger name. Um, he's harder working more popular has more money better <laughs> he has more money <laughs> ah, ah. for an influencer better looking list. has more hair <laughs> oh he has more hair he's better looking this is an absolute piss take of a tier list. So uh, um this guy he, he's cool and all but for content creation he, he's just pathetic honestly because I, I watched his overworld stream and he was getting hyped about like catching a lesser earth doke or something like it was a hollow dark hollow ramp fire so uh pl just please stop making content unless it's like on the official alluvium stream yo i know he's just taking the piss by doing this but i do actually need to say i am so fucking surprised at how good of a streamer kieran is i personally took notes from kieran the main thing with streaming is to not stop talking and, and constantly being engaging over the smallest things yo i'm running just i'm i'm jumping like yo i'm trying to get here just consistently talking kieran does that shit so naturally and it's fuck it it's incredible like i'll i'll be honest i learned a lot by watching his stream for when i go on stream so mad props to kieran if he ever wants to take this shit seriously he's He's got the tools to do it. No disrespect meant, uh, just stay in your lane. Uh, this is my domain, know your place. <laughs> stay in your motherfucking Jesus. Next up we have Kira TV, one of my favorite Alluvium content creators. This guy is very honest about his opinions and he just like shits all over all of these people for fun. That to me says you're like a really good person. <laughs> so, for anyone that doesn't know Kira TV, he makes content and for a long time in the bull market, he was making a lot of content shitting on Web3 games uh, as he should have, to be completely honest. A lot of them were shit, but he would shit on them just like crazy. Like he, he wouldn't even give them a chance and he would call out Alluvium for, for using uh, pre-rendered footage when it was obviously gameplay. And when it was proven that it was gameplay, he didn't redact any of his statements. He kind of doubled down and um, yeah, no, it was quite, it was quite funny how, how that whole narrative <laughs> played out. Like he hasn't actually come forward and said anything like he was wrong. He's kind of just stayed silent and, and completely ignored it, which is funny. <laughs> Especially when you get proven wrong and you don't um, own up to it or make a video saying like, hey, I was wrong. I shit all over this game for no. <laughs> the tone of voice is incredible, man. 
reason. Um, I just really admire people like that. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I really admire you. I wonder if he's scripting this or if he's just going off the top because the word choices are incredible. I really I have to put him uh, in the please stop making content because he's such an amazing content creator and good person that every time I see his videos, it, it hurts me a little bit because I know how good he is and how honest and how much of a good person he is. So, yeah, he, he gets me really jealous by how much he lies in his videos. <laughs> oh, Jimbo. So. Good, good on you, Kira TV, for being an inspiration. Next up, we have Najaf. Um, he actually makes really good content. Fun fact: for the longest time, I thought his name was Nahafe. I don't know how you get Najaf out of how he spells that, but uh, cool. Anyways, um, he makes really good content. Actually, uh, a lot of the times, the subject matter has to do with things that I'm not super interested in, but he does it well. So I'm gonna put him at the top of B. Yeah, no, Najib actually makes incredible videos, man. And he's actually leveled up the quality of his videos as well. Like it's just incredible with the editing and things like that. I'm super proud of seeing where, I think we started pretty at pretty similar times and to see where he's got to is, is incredible. Also, he, he's a really cool guy as well. I like him a lot. Agreed, agreed. He is a very cool guy. Here we have another Alluvium Council member in Scoriax. This guy is the charts guy. He's talking about this going to one million thousand dollars. Talking about that going to zero point zero thousand. His content is just kind of <laughs> Yo, a million thousand. Kind of fun. Not financial advice kind of video, but also has some nuggets of truth in there here and there. I'm not super into that kind of content, but he's super, super consistent. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in B. Generally, if his quality or upload schedule was worse, I would put him in C just because it's not always my kind of content. But uh, I think I'm going to put him in B. I think I'm going to put Annie behind Artie and Scoriax in front of Annie. Yeah, let's do that because I, I do like uh, Artie a lot there. You already know who it is. This is daddy, bro. This is Shabim, bro. Like, I love this, man. Like, man, he gets me worked up, bro. Yo, Shabim is probably one of the most consistent on, on Twitch. Like, I don't know if he slowed down a little bit, but he is always in Discord legitimately every single day. I don't know if he, I don't know if this guy's got a job or not, but he's streaming every single day in Discord. It's, he jumps into the voice chat, mutes everyone, and just starts screaming. It's the wildest shit. But uh, he's very inconsistent with his YouTube uploads, which is kind of fucking annoying. Please upload more. You make good content. Dude, he is hella entertaining on his streams. I've watched it a couple of times. Hella entertaining. Um, I want to put him in C just for that. But if I'm going to do like an influencer content creator tier list, I have to include his Twitch streams as well. Which actually he's not always as consistent as I want him to be, but his Twitch streams are pretty fucking legendary, I'll be honest. I'm gonna have to put him in A. I agree. I think like actually his Twitch streams, hilarious. Hilarious. Daddy goes right into A. I doubt Stash will see this, but in case you do, buddy, I like a lot of your opinions. I like you as a person. It's just uh your content, it's all web three games, not just Alluvium and um, yeah, I just am not into Web3 games. I'm only into Alluvium or in the future top tier games that will have Web3 integration. So I'm going to have to put him in C, even though Yo, I actually don't know if Jim was just joking with that of like, you know, he doesn't care about all Web3 games or yeah, no, that's pretty funny. I really like him on Around the Blockchain or some podcasts that I've heard him on. <laughs> around the Metaverse. It's called Around the Metaverse. That's his podcast. Um, just not a huge fan of his YouTube channel. Coming up on to the rear here, we have the last two content creators. First of the last two, we have Timmy ILV. This guy is pretty funny. He's new though, so his content is still kind of fresh. It's got a newer vibe. I kind of like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in B as well. His ceiling is pretty high though. I think him and Comedian, who is not on this list, but maybe on future lists, have a bright future if they keep grinding and working at it, but they gotta be consistent. Yo, Timmy's got some really, really fun shit, man. Like, it's very meme -y and really leans heavy on the jokes and stuff like that. He's got some informative stuff as well, but I think his, his I honestly would love to see him do more of the meme stuff and really like go in that niche and really tackle that because there's so much of an opportunity there and he could really knock that out. Like, the shit that he's done already is incredible. Last up. Yo, that's your boy. That's me right there. Let's see. Yo, if this guy doesn't give me an S, I'm I'm fucking rioting right now. Breaking keyboards. 
I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to break any keyboards. <laughs> we have my boy, PSG ILV. Man, this guy was willing to help me before I was anything, before I was the face of Alluvian, before I was the most humble, beautiful, intelligent, handsome person in the world. Yo, it sounds like he's describing me, to be honest. <laughs> I would DM this guy. I would always get a response back. That is not something you will find in other communities, even Web3 communities. Kindness. I'm telling you guys, be kind to people. The shit pays back. This guy is a legend. So that doesn't matter, though, because we're talking about his content. And even with that being said, his content is great, very consistent. He's able to do it with minimal effort, which is huge for being that consistency. He always has interesting takes. But yeah, I, I love watching this guy's content. I'm going to put him in front of daddy just because his uh, consistency is amazing. Always does amazing work. A uh, solid creator right there. Yo, sick. I actually don't mind that. Honestly, Jimbo is is a, is a piss take. He's obviously just fucking about. So if I'm behind Andrew and the Alluvium channel, yo, I'm cool with that. So that means top three minus Jimbo. Top three are all on the Alluvium team. Seems fitting. It seems fitting. So yeah, that's it for the video. That's the tier list. I honestly agree. Obviously, I think Kieran, it's obviously he's putting it there for as, as a piss take. I, oh, I, I, I think so. I like Kieran streaming if I'm being completely honest, but no, this was fun. Make sure you follow Jimbo with the link down below. I appreciate you guys watching. There's going to be so much more of this content coming out. I'm sure if Jimbo makes it, I'm reacting 100%, but appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.